Hello everybody, welcome to another Monday night mini medicine card reading. I always have to think before I say that out loud. <laughs> I am Patrick, your friendly neighborhood shaman, and we are going to read some medicine cards. So welcome, welcome. I am down at the river. Um, so, all right. Oh, wow, we got people saying yes already. Woohoo! All right. Ty. So, for those who don't know, the first six people to comment yes in the comments, well, of course, in the comments, because where else would you comment, get a one card reading. And so, let's see. Hey, Mercy! Okay, let's see. I think we... So we have Ty and Deb. Esper Marcy and Esperanza. One, two, three, four, Tammy. Hey, love. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Roulette and Joe. Let's see, we've got five. Roulette and Joe. Um, you make six and seven. Maybe I'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. I know, right? That's six people in less than two minutes. Thank you, you guys. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. If you don't know me, I am Patrick, your friendly neighborhood shaman. And we are down here. Let me show you where we are. We're on the beautiful Cedar River. The sun is just setting. We decided to come out here because... Okay, Roulette, I'll, maybe I'll let you guys share a card. I'm here, I'm doing my, got my pipe ceremony set up. I've been doing pipe ceremony down here. But this is where we are. This beautiful, beautiful place. With my beautiful, beautiful friends. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. So, put my phone. I keep having to finagle stones, sticks and stones make new little phone holder thingies so let's see maybe that works actually if I could da, 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 da. there we go perfect all right y'all thank you for joining us um, and so we have our six people that are going to get one card readings and if you didn't um get a personal reading just what i always tell people is to choose a number between one and six <laughs> and just follow along and whichever card even if it technically is for someone else i promise your message will be in there somewhere welcome ty yeah thanks for coming All right, it's funny because last week, I think we had all new people. Like, none of the regulars showed up. And so this week, we've got a mix. So, all right, Ty, you are the first one up. You were first on the draw. And so the only thing I ask of you is if you would please share this video. The video itself is free. But if you would, I would appreciate if you would share it either to your page, your wall. Share it to a friend. You can tag a friend in the comments. But that is all I ask. All right, Ty. Hmm. All right. 
Ty, your card is the wolf. Um, wolf is the teacher. Wolf always, so the pack always have um, scouts that go out ahead, right, of the rest of the pack. They get the lay of the land. They find, like, the most abundant places to live. They find the places to ford the streams. And then they come back to the pack, and they teach the pack what's ahead of them. And so... This is part of your path. It's one of those things like that saying about um, if it doesn't seem like you fit into this world, you came to change the world because you are on the, the leading edge of change, the leading edge you have you might not always feel courageous, but you you are, and you have the courage to set foot in places where other people won't. And so you have the courage to go where other people don't, you know, just like Star Trek, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Um, and, you know, and I, when I'm talking about these things, it's always like, oh, yeah, the courage to go places and explore and adventure. And it's not necessarily this big Indiana Jones kind of like, let's go explore kind of thing. Um, it, you can still be a teacher. You can still be an adventurer and still be kind of timid. I don't know why I'm saying that, but there are different levels of courage. Courage is simply courage cannot exist without fear. Fear is the seed of courage. Courage is the simple fact of moving forward despite the presence of fear. Um, and so I just keep finding myself wanting to talk about courage and um, to give yourself credit for how far you've come, even if others might judge you to be, you know, weird, you're, you're in good company here. Um, weird is just part of the job. And so there's kind of that timid, you know, that like not afraid someone might find out what you're into or what your interests are in that kind of thing but it still takes courage to just be yourself you know and the other thing i like about wolf um you know canines tend to be seen as masculine right so wolf tends to be kind of the masculine principle but where does wolf get his power grandmother moon So this is a really well balanced. It's like your your masculine and feminine sides are really well balanced, and it's hearing the call of the intuition, the call of inspiration, the creative principle within you, and then the wolf is the one who takes that inspiration and manifests it, brings it into physical form gives form to the nebulous inspiration of Grandmother Moon. Does that make sense? Um, so never underestimate your power to change the world even if no one knows what you're doing. Even if no one knows who you are. Um, 
my teacher, Sandra Ingerman, always says, it's not what you do, but who you become that changes the world. And so even if, even if you're an introvert and you like to sp stay home and do creative projects or read or, you know, learn, as long as you're learning, as long as you're expanding, um, you are changing the world. You have a unique path, a path that only you can walk. And by having the courage to be authentic, to walk that path with grace, um, that is all the universe will ask of you. Um, So give yourself more credit than you do right now. Give yourself more credit. Take a look, you know, like, look at where you were a year ago. Look at where you were five years ago, 10 years ago, and see how far you have come. It's like, we, we need to, well, I mean, like in Wolf, like, the hunter tracking, right? It's good to track where we've been, track your progress, not for an ego boost kind of thing, but just otherwise it feels like we are spinning our wheels, right? We're not getting anywhere. But when you can look and see that every step you've taken has led to greater awareness, greater learning, greater experiences, that's how you know you're in the right place at the right time. Yeah. And the, the last thing with Wolf that um, Wolf is the predator, right? And most of the time, predators tend to get the, the short end of the stick. Um, I mean, we love wolves, but as soon as they start taking cattle or livestock or whatever, and you know, we, we, um, there was a big uproar when we reintroduced wolves to Yellowstone Park. And I don't know, hey Thomas, my, my crow friend is here. I don't know if you can see him. See him right there. That's Thomas. Hi, Thomas. I was feeding him waffles earlier. So now I gotta readjust my phone thing again. Anyway, so Ty, I hope that makes sense. Like the whole thing with the predator, the, the presence of the predator, just the president presence of wolf in Yellowstone radically healed the park because without wolf the the herds of deer and elk and bison um they just um overran everything they there were no limits so they overgrazed the grasslands they overgrazed the trees they would go down to the river any place and so the banks of the river actually got worn down but when the wolf was reintroduced number one the wolf would start to hunt the <clears throat> the sick or the old um like the deer or the elk and so they would take out they would actually add to the health of the herds because they would take out disease or the opportunity for disease before it ever started to sprout in the herd, right? So the herds became healthier, um, faster, stronger, and they only grazed in certain areas and they only went to the river in certain areas because they had to take care of themselves and not be out in the open where they could get caught by the wolves. 
So the rivers actually regained their banks. The rivers' banks recovered. Um, all because the wolf was there, all because the predator, right? And where I'm going with this is that you have, I always kind of, I, I connect wolf with Artemis, the Greek goddess of the hunt. And it's like her silver arrows that decide who dies and who lives, we, especially in the wild, the wild animals. And so it's the presence of the presence of a predator. And it's kind of like taking that in, like claiming that part of you who gets to decide what lives in your world and what doesn't live. Not literally, of course, metaphorically, but like what are the who are the people you want in your in your world? What are the situations or the jobs or whatever that you want in your world and what are the ones that you don't and so it's like that you know again canines are boundary holders they're guardians and so it's having that awareness to to hold your boundaries to keep certain people out and allow certain people in you know to keep certain beliefs like think your thoughts and your beliefs, you know, holding on to those thoughts and beliefs that nurture you, that, that enrich you, that feed you, and letting go of any of the ones that make you feel small or worthless, <clears throat> because you are not. You are worthwhile, you are whole, you are amazing, okay? I hope that makes sense. I hope that that fits for you. Thanks for coming. It's good to good to have you along. All right, Deb, you are next. Card number two. If anyone has card number two for Deb. Oh, you're so welcome, Ty. Blessed be. Okay, Deb. How many times have you gotten the deer? <laughs> um, So what I'm what I'm feeling, what I'm getting from deer is kind of a validation for you. <laughs> Millions. <laughs> um, it's like deer's coming along to It's like this congratulation. Yeah, it's like, you know, she's not an exuberant animal like others, but she's just coming along and say, good job, good job. It's like, I just, I feel this, just this peacefulness. And it's like you, you, it feels like you've reached a new level of peace within yourself, kind of that comfort, comfort in your own skin kind of thing. Like things are coming together. And, and being able to look at the world more through those eyes of wonder, the eyes of a child. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, you felt this positive shift into deer a week ago. 
exact that's I, I I don't I don't have much more to say other than that it's just to validate that you're doing it and that it's, it's like that's the message right there big sigh it's like letting the world off your shoulders actually finding finding your groove really yeah and and just handling things with so much grace awesome i'm glad i'm glad it you're welcome. I hope that's enough of a message. Sometimes that's the best message. I thought, I have arrived. You have arrived. Awesome. All right. So number three for Marcy. It rhymes. All right, so card number three for Marcy. Okay. You're welcome, Deb. All right, Marcy, you got Buffalo. Buffalo Soldier. At Fairy Worlds one year, there was a guy there selling buffalo corn dogs. And I'm sure he got tired of us coming up and up to his booth and going, Buffalo Corn Dog. Buffalo Corn Dog. Anyway, buffalo um, is abundance. Buffalo is abundance, but not just, you know, when, when, when we hear the word abundance, our first thought is financial, right? Money, yay, I'm gonna win the lottery or something. Um, but true abundance is having all of your needs filled, right? Um, to the Plains Indians, Buffalo was the lifeblood Buffalo provided everything, food, shelter, um, clothing, tools, everything came from Buffalo. Buffalo was almost an embodiment of Mother Earth, Earth herself. Um, okay. And what I'm also getting, part of Buffalo medicine is about facing things head on. When you've got a challenge, when there's a situation that um, needs your attention or needs your action, <clears throat> Buffalo <laughs> faces it straight on and like um, when there's like for example when there's a storm um, Buffalo will face into the storm and they will walk through the storm to the other side so the storm doesn't last as long yeah charge in like a bison exactly I just heard Kingfisher sorry distraction um, but yeah, it's like head on, like charge. Um, whereas like cows, domestic domesticated cows, um, when the storm comes up, they turn tail and run the other way, right? And so they're running away and the storm overtakes them. And so the storm lasts longer for them, but the buffalo going into the storm, comes out the other side um, sooner and they have that I mean a bison is basically a mountain of flesh right it's like 
grounded. Um, and so there's not a lot that can, you don't want to go cow tipping with, with the buffalo. Um, <laughs> before I, before you joined, Buffalo and a Yellowstone showed up on your video feed. <laughs> uh, oh, so Buffalo and Yellowstone. I just keep thinking of like the different, it's like that time of the year when tourists are getting gored or propelled through the air by the Buffalo and, and Yellowstone. But, um, I just, what I keep feeling is just that, I feel it's like that buffalo just with the, the hooves planted in the earth, unmovable. That there's nothing that can stand against you. When you realize your power, when you realize that connection to mother earth, <clears throat> that there is nothing that can sway you. There's nothing that can turn you. <clears throat> and you can continue to just keep walking forward. Does that help? <laughs> um, yeah, it's like there's, and everything you need is going to come to you. You don't have to worry about running out of anything, whether it's food, shelter, you know, money, whatever, everything you need is being provided for you, especially to move through whatever you are going through right now. You are not alone, right? There's no such thing as a lone buffalo. And so you are not alone. And you are fueled by the earth. That's the phrase that just came into my head. Fueled by the earth. So, there you go. So glad you're here. I miss you. All right, Esperanza, you are number four. My video just glitched out. Oh, Valerie, you got number three too. Awesome. That's what it's like. Sometimes, if I'm, if if you have a card, and I say something that doesn't resonate, it's probably because there's someone else who chose that card number. I'm glad that helped, Valerie. All right, Esperanza. Esperanza, you got the owl. Owls well that ends well. Um. So, what's coming through for me for you from Owl. Um, owls are fierce. Um, some cultures actually call, call Owl a winged tiger because they are relentless. <laughs> and they go right for the heart of what they're, you know, their, their eyesight is as keen as eagles, but they see in the dark. And they also, they're also, they're called the bird of deception because they're the only bird who is totally silent when they fly. 
You can't hear them calling. I'm coming. Okay, the sun went down. I can take off my hat. Hopefully my hair is presentable. And so what I'm getting for you, Esperanza, is it's time to really go for what you want. Don't, don't settle, don't compromise. You see what you want, you go for it. And you don't have to ask permission. You don't have to make a big production about it. You don't have to tell anybody about it. You deserve to have your desires fulfilled. You deserve well-being and whatever supports that well-being and you don't have to ask permission you don't have to negotiate you don't have to compromise um owl sees the mouse and grabs the mouse before the mouse even knows it's there the mouse doesn't even know owl's there until it's in its talons right um So yeah, so be fierce, my friend, be fierce. Fiercely go after what you want. That's the thing that keeps coming. And part of the message too is that just like Owl, um, whatever it is, don't don't worry about the details. Don't worry about, okay, but I don't know what it's going to look like when I get there. Or I, I don't know. Maybe I don't want the whole package. I just want this part. When you see what you need, when you see what you're, you desire or you're passionate about, grab it wholeheartedly. <laughs> Eat, take the whole thing. I will um, have a special digestive system where they will swallow a mouse whole and their digestive system sorts out what's, what's nutritious for them and what isn't. And whatever is nutritious for them, it metabolizes and what isn't, the owl will spit out kind of like a hairball, like a cat spitting out a hairball. And that hairball will have the hair and like bones and different parts of the of the mouse or the animal that are not digestible. Does that make sense? So now is not the time to be meek. Now is the this the huntress again, right? The huntress. It's time to Seek out, seek out that which serves you, whether anyone else approves or not, and just go for it, okay? And know that owl I was about seeing with the heart. That's how she can see through the dark. Because she sees with her heart. Her heart is her authority. And so what that means is you don't have to worry about right or wrong. Um, Owl is about justice. Owl can see through the dark to see what is true. And so when you see what you want or what you need, you go for it. Knowing that the fact that your heart is telling you that that's what you need, trust the authority of your heart. You need no one else's permission. Does that make sense? Whatever you do is you're already you're already moving from a place of the heart. 
And so you can do no harm. What you do, like, Owl is the totem of Athena, the goddess of, of war in ancient Greek, Greece. Um, but she's also the one who brought democracy. And the reason she could do that was because she had Owl. She could look through Owl's eyes and see what was just, what was true. There was no deception anyone could pull over her. There was nothing, no subterfuge or, um, she could see through any falsehoods. She could see through any darkness, any, um, blurriness straight to the heart of the matter. So she always knew what was just. And so you can trust your heart that what it is you need you can't how do I put this you already move from the heart and when you move from the heart your heart is what con connects you to all living things and your heart is what connects you to Creator. So when you move from your heart, um, it doesn't mean other people might not, you know, other people might not like that you do it, but if you're moving from your heart, you are automatically moving, number one, in harmony with all living things, and you're, li and you're moving by the direct, from the direction of you know, the, the conductor of this orchestra that is life. So, be fierce. Go for what you deserve. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be fulfilled. You deserve to be loved in the manner in which you desire. So, go for it, okay? All right, I hope that helps. Tammy. Tammy, you are number five. got raccoon um <laughs> um so that it suits you so well because raccoons are rascally, right? They're imps, they, and they like to break the rules. Not so much break the rules, but they find all the loopholes. Raccoon is really about, when raccoon comes up, it's really about service. It's about service to your community whether it's your family, your, your job, your, you know, neighborhood, community, whatever. Um, but it's about service. But it's service in the way that you make it look like play. It's not work for you. Right? I always, I always think of raccoon as um, the Robin Hood of the animal kingdom because they always go out forage for food and then they don't eat it where they find it. They bring it back to the community and make sure everybody gets to eat before they eat. So it's kind of that 
robbing the rich to give to the poor, but they're, they have fun doing it. Like Robin Hood is always um, like, stand and deliver, ha <laughs> ha, you know? He loves what he does, it's not a job. And he loves being the trickster. He loves tricking the rich into giving him their money so he can help the poor, right? Um, and so there's that rascally, jovial part of you and I know you work, you work, don't you work in, in, um, HR? I think if I remember correctly. So, I mean, that's the perfect place for raccoon. Um, and to make your job look fun, to, to always bring that, to think out, like, not even to think outside the box because where raccoon comes in, there is no box. And so you bring this, this fresh, um, out of left field perspective to things that no one else can find on their own, right? And so, and so you do find, and you do find those loopholes to help, it's like, you know, I remember when, back when I was married, you know, a whole lifetime ago, and we needed to um, go to the DHS, DSHS, is that what it is? The, like, social services and stuff, because my, my ex-wife now, but she needed um, financial help to go through some medical things. Um, trash pandas um and the woman that we were talking to at the dshs you know it's like we were married we were living um together but she was like you know like like i can't really do much but if you were living by yourself um <laughs> i'd be able to do some like like you know, that kind of like wink, wink, helping people by, you know, well, I'm not supposed to tell you this. Um, and in, in effect, telling them exactly what they need to know or do without being told what they need to do. So, um, Yeah, so I'm not actually sure what the message is, if it's just a, a validation that you're doing the right thing. If it's not fun, don't do it. That's the message. If it feels like work, it's not worth doing. <laughs> Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, yeah. Validation, awesome. I'm glad. Yeah, because it's like, that's so totally you. It's like, and it's kind of that, that Dow was saying about by doing nothing, nothing is left undone. It's like anyone observing from the outside would be like, oh, you're such a, you know, goof off and you're not really serious and you're not, you know, doing what you're supposed to. And all of a sudden you're like, but I finished. It's here's, here's all the paperwork, here's all this, here's all that. And so it's, it's like bringing that fresh breath of humor and whimsy to everything you do. So, awesome. All right, so card number six. 
Roulette and Joe are going to share a card. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we'll see because I'm not in charge. Okay, this is weird. Okay, so. As I'm shuffling, I got a really vivid picture of the African painted dogs. You know what those are? They're not in the cards. But that's, that's the animal for you this week. So, what's the message? Rest and play. Rest and play. It's like you can be serious when you need to be serious. But when you don't have to be serious, it's okay to just relax and to rest um, and to play. And I remember, oh, there's a butterfly. Yay. Um, when I, I did a soul retrieval for someone one time and the African painted dog was the animal that came back, the power animal that came to help integrate, and mod to um, moderate the integration period for them. And the main message was to be yourself, that, how do I put it into words again? That there's a beauty in just being that you don't have to earn. Hey, Nadia, Nadia, yeah, totally. It's like everyone needs to play right now. It's like, stop taking things so serious. Um, but let your inner puppy play. Um, and it's like, they're so beautiful. I just, they are one of my favorite animals. In fact, I've got, if I were home, I could show you um, Windsor. I've got a stuffed animal painted dog that usually goes with me on my vision quests and stuff but it's like they are so beautiful and their beauty comes from who they are they don't have to be doing anything to earn that beauty they don't have to you know spend years and years of hard work to become beautiful. Exactly. Thank you, Marcy. It's a beauty you're born with. And that who you are is so much more important and more powerful than anything you will ever do. You know, the whole thing that we are human beings, not human doings. So, appreciate your own beauty. Know that even if you are not doing anything, you are bringing beauty to the world just by being in it. You know, I talk about 
um, walking in beauty. It's like my favorite phrase in the world. And it means everything you do, plant seeds of either love or hate, love, beauty, or fear and destruction, right? So just by being in the world, it's like they say, like, when you squeeze an orange, you get orange juice. If you squeeze a lemon, you get lemon juice. You don't get orange juice from a lemon. And so it's kind of like what we fill ourselves up with is what comes out. And so when you fill your, your life with beauty, when you fill your life with love, when you fill your life with purpose, everything that you do is a reflection, is an expression, a coming out of that beauty and such that's inside of you. So just be. Does that make sense? Is that helpful? That was really strange. I didn't even have to pull a card for that one. And that's for both of you, Roulette and Joe. I know you're like, oh, that must be Joe's card. But both of you, you have, you know, and, and with that too, the dog, the community, the family unit, and um, the valuing of everybody in the pack. Everyone has a different role. Everyone has unique um, talents and gifts, a unique beauty, and it's appreciating the beauty of everyone and everything around you. And it's like the namaste, right? The beauty in me sees the beauty in you, right? So, so really appreciate your own beauty and what you bring to the world just by being in it. Joe just saw something about African painted dogs this morning. You can't make this stuff up. Wow. So yeah, so that's play, play, play. I think that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> yeah. You are more than enough. You are worthy by just being. You don't have to earn your worth. So, I hope that is helpful. I love those synchronicities. All right, so one more card for everybody, whether you got a personal card or not. Blue Heron. Let those cars go by. Um, stillness. Life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> um, heron. Stillness. Letting Letting what you, what, allowing what feeds you to come to you, knowing that, like I just said, um, there's more power in being than there is in doing. And by being who you are, that which feeds you will come to you. When you're aligned, head in the sky, feet in the earth, what needs to find you will find you because of that alignment, because of that stillness, right? Heron casts a shadow on, on the water and the fish are drawn to the coolness of Heron's shadow. So Heron, the food, Heron's food comes by stillness, by, by allowing it to come. And by looking into 
his reflection, right? It's the shadow. By looking into the shadow, there is nothing in the shadow that can harm you. It's by looking into your shadow that you find the nourishment that you need. Oof -da. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, if you would like a personal reading, a false bread reading, we can make that happen. You can visit my website at perchingwolfstudios.net and you can set up a session with me right there. Um, if you have any questions or just want a general what's going on in my life kind of thing, overview, or if you have specific questions, relationships, jobs, whatever it is, um, come see me. We can do a reading and help you find your way. Um, I also, on my website, you can see the other shamanic services I offer, healings and teachings and readings. Um, yeah, and see what might resonate with you. Uh, my job is to support you in finding your own path. So, and that is my deepest joy and honor to be able to do. So let me know if I can do anything. Um, I am going to um, share this video to my Facebook page and I also will upload it to my Perching Wolf Studios YouTube channel where I have over three years worth of these readings. <clears throat> oh, awesome, Ty, I look forward to doing a reading for you. Awesome, thank you. Um, yeah, and what else? And so I have three years worth of videos, the readings like these, um, ceremonies. Wednesday night, if you're interested, I do a, a live sacred pipe ceremony um, at seven o'clock, same place here. As Marcy says, she was gonna have some a new friend come up tonight, so I'm glad. It's nice to meet you. It's one of my best friends too. So awesome. Um, where was I going? Oh, and so Wednesday night, right here on my Facebook page, a live um, video ceremony of the sacred pipe ceremony and. If you are in the area, Saturday morning at 11 o'clock at Riverview Park, right here in Renton, I'm going to be doing an in-person pipe ceremony. So you can come experience the pipe ceremony in person. Uh, so magical, so amazing. And potent. If you enjoyed this and you would like to support your local shaman, support your friendly neighborhood shaman, um, when I share this video, I will have the PayPal information in the description. Um, I greatly appreciate anything you give. Um, this is my full-time job, so any support I get is, is more than welcome and so gratefully appreciated. So thank you so much. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I'm, I might be forgetting something, but that's okay too. So. <laughs> that was Kingfisher saying bye. So thank you for joining me. Until I see you next, know that I love you, that I see you, and that I honor you. Have a wonderful week. Oh, and there will not be a me uh, Monday night medicine reading next week. I have a conflict of uh, schedule conflict, so it'll be two weeks, but um, I will see you then, and until I see you next, I love you, I see you, and I honor you. Have a wonderful couple of weeks. Go shining. All right. Bye.